today I've got seven brand new Halloween themed build hacks for you guys using the new blocks from the 1.20 update. If you want to add a bit of spooky atmosphere to your builds or creep out your friends on your server, you're in the right place. I've divided these builds into three tiers of complexity, starting off with mild spooky and ending on big spooky. Be sure to stick around to the end because I had a really great time making the last couple builds for this video. They get kind of insane. Let's get into it. Alright, first up in the mild spooky section, I've got this really really cool little bamboo scarecrow made with the new bamboo wood, which I think is a really cool little simple design. And the way you build it is really simple, you just put down a bamboo fence, put a bamboo planks on top of it, throw your jack-o-lantern on top, then on the fourth block here you're going to do a bamboo slab, then starting from the bottom here we're going to do a bamboo sign on the front and the back. On each of the sides we're going to have hanging signs, and then all you got to do to finish off this build is just put four of the bamboo trap doors around the slab there, and there you go, you got a cute little scarecrow using the new bamboo wood. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a redstone lamp that flickers on and off randomly. It's going to be great for adding like spooky atmosphere to your builds. You're going to start by putting down three temporary blocks right there, you're going to put two dust on top right there, and this end right here is where the lamp is going to go. Coming back over here on the last temporary block, you're going to put a comparator, then you're going to take a dropper, have it face up, and then a hopper and have that face down. Gonna take a redstone repeater, have that face into the dropper. Gonna move back two blocks and put an observer right there. Gonna set this repeater to two, three, four ticks. Make sure it's as wide of a delay as possible. Now you guys saw in the materials list we're gonna be using three unstackable items, so like, you know, tools or armor or whatever. I'm using wooden shovels. You can just go ahead and toss those right into the dropper. And then you're gonna take six regular, like, 64 stackable items. You can see I've got one of each different kind of wood here. You have to make sure that the they do not stack with each other. You can go ahead and toss all those in as well. And then all you gotta do is put your last observer in place, and there you go guys, you've got a pulsing redstone lamp that randomly flickers on and off. Alright, this next one is a little bit of a larger build, but we're going to be taking advantage of some funny game mechanics to make a uh, villager torture device. <laughs> It's Halloween guys, what can I say, we're gonna be doing some weird stuff. And then starting with the build here, we're gonna do one polished granite right there. Gonna do a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine block gap, and one more polished granite over there. We're gonna have nine blocks in the middle there. Then go up one, two, three point of dripstone on both sides. Leave a three block air gap, and then you've got another polished granite floating up there, which of course you're going to connect with one, two, three more polished dripstone. Gonna do a granite stair and another polished granite and of course mirror that on the other side as well. Two deep slate walls and then fill in the middle three blocks with polished basalt. Coming down from the middle here you're gonna put a grindstone and two chains. This right here is basically like a crane we're gonna be using to hang our poor little villager from the bottom here. Gonna take a regular glass pane and go down one two three blocks, break the top two that way we've got a spot here for a villager. Then right underneath the glass here we're gonna be putting a stone cutter to act as our uh, <laughs> our blade to be sawing this villager in half. Gonna be surrounding that with some polished blackstone stairs. Bring each of these out by one more block with another round of polished blackstone and then do another round of stairs just like that. You should have this kind of plus sign thing going on here. Then go ahead and throw in some black glazed terracotta. You can see how I like to have this red bit poking towards the middle. It could look like blood, it could look like just whatever little bit of detail you want. Then I'm gonna be surrounding the edges with polished blackstone brick. Gonna to throw four black candles on each of these black glazed terracotta here, and if you want to get a little bit extra gruesome, you can go ahead and taste some redstone dust. Toss a little bit of it around here, just basically wherever you want to, I think right about there is good. You're gonna right click all of them, that way they look kind of like drops of blood on the ground. <laughs> then to better enclose our villager here, we're gonna go one down here with a temporary block, then put four more glass panes around each of the corners here, because what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be adding our villager right there, and giving him a dinner bone name tag, that way he's looking like he's hanging from his feet. And now we've completed our villager torture device for this guy to just endlessly hang here and maybe, oh, I don't know, have all the blood drained to his head or something, I don't know. <laughs> have fun, dude! 
I've got this funky little design for this weird, excuse me, buddy, and thank you, please give me space. I've got this funky little design for like a weird demon crawler insect thing. It's a little funny, it's a little creepy. And starting with our build, we're first gonna put down some dark oak trap doors. They're gonna do one, two, three. Just like that, you're gonna flip all of them up and put some black stone buttons on all of them. Then clicking on the top face of the buttons, just like that, we're gonna be putting three more trapdoors above them like that. Then we're gonna go through on the inside here and do one dark oak hanging sign on each of these legs on the sides, and then two for the middle one, just like that. Go ahead and mirror everything we just did on the other side here, leaving a one block gap in the middle, just like that. Then go ahead and pick a side, this is gonna be our back. I'm gonna do an upside down mangrove stair just like that. Another one on top, gonna do a couple slabs around the side here, gonna also throw in more stairs just like this. You can see we're putting the stairs in the cardinal directions and the slabs are going in the corners. Can go ahead and toss a campfire right there and another slab on top to cover it up but letting the smoke go through. Bring another couple slabs in this direction towards the front. Then in the middle here you can put a blast furnace actually. Underneath here you're gonna do one, two, three stripped mangrove wood and then one more mangrove stair on the top there facing upside down. In front of the blast furnace do one more stripped mangrove wood and then in this weird little middle section here between the middle leg and the front leg you can go ahead and do a trap door and an upside down slab or rather the top half of the slab on the block below it. Then I like putting in two flower pots right here as they kind of look like spines on the back of this weird insect and then on the front here this is where things get kind of funky I like to put a player head actually right there and you can see how silly it looks. <laughs> like look at this stupid little Steve head just sitting in the front of this weird like mechanical demon insect kind of thing. It's really stupid. Of course you don't need to put a player head. You could always use a dragon head or like a wither skeleton skull in either position really. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I just think that a player head on the front there is really really funny. <laughs> so I'm just rolling with it. It's certainly really stupid but I think it's just barely creepy enough to qualify as a Halloween build. So there you go. <laughs> Dead trees are a really great way of ramping up the spooky, scary Halloween atmosphere. And using the blocks in my hotbar, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of my favorite dead tree designs using the new mangrove roots from 1.19. One of the most important things is to start off with a very crooked and twisty and windy base. I like using just the oak wood for now to outline the shape of the tree and of course, you know, we're going to fill in the details and thicken out the branches and everything, but for the time being, just want a really get the shape down, want to make it look all gnarly. Once we got a basic shape looking uh, something like this, I'm going to be going through with the stairs and the slabs and the gates and just going in and rounding out all the branches, adding in little bits of detail, making sure the trunk is the right thickness and all of that and just, you know, polishing up the main shape of the tree. And now if we were making a live tree, of course, we'd be adding our leaves in here and really trying to make the canopy nice and bushy and whatnot. However, with the, however, with the dead tree, we're going to be using the mangrove roots and the brown banners as well as these additional detail blocks, the button and the sign to really just make it look all gnarly and messed up and everything. You can see I'm just being really chaotic with my leaf placements. I'm not trying to make anything look rounded or bushy like a living tree. It's just trying to make it look like a whole mess. And there you have yourself a dead tree. In case you want to add a mysterious floating head to your builds or make a pair of dragon eyes glide back and forth through your walls, this little trick with the dragon head, an armor stand, and some redstone is going to be very handy. Here's what the actual mechanism looks like behind this facade right here. You can see we got the head moving around, we got a bunch of funky redstone stuff, and I'm going to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to put this whole thing together. For starters, you're going to need a pretty big area, but the part I'm marking out right now is just for our timer, which is going to be a 2x6 area, just like that. Going to throw down some target blocks, some comparators, going to have two hoppers facing into each other so they would pass an item back and forth, a little bit of redstone dust, two sticky pistons facing inwards, and a redstone block in front of one of the hoppers. This right here is actually a modified version of the tried and true classic Etho hopper clock design. In front of the redstone block, you're going to put an 
observer and coming out of the back of that observer we're gonna be laying down some redstone wiring on these andesites right here of course the andesite is not required it's just there to show you where I'm actually gonna be putting all the redstone wire and stuff you can see it splits off right there and then the left side has this block raised up and that block lowered and the right side has both of those two blocks lowered we're gonna put a dispenser at the end of each of these like that gonna carve out some space right there oh hi seed gonna throw a repeater with a two tick delay right behind the observer gonna have that branch out into some redstone wiring gonna have one more repeater right there on a three tick delay then that's gonna feed it directly into that dispenser this one is gonna be carried over here with a little bit more redstone wire gonna have a torch here to invert the signal and then one more bit of redstone go ahead and put a water bucket into each of those two dispensers just like that and now this part is going to get a little bit tricky because we are going to be working with an armor stand here but just bear with me because it is really not that complicated we're just going to carve out a slot here right in the middle of a redstone of course we'll put everything back once we're all finished but what we want to do here is we're going to put down our armor stand going to have our dragon head facing towards us like that now we want to get this smushed up against this front block right here and in order to do that we're going to be taking a piston put that in there and then we're going to put a redstone block on top that's going to push the armor stand forward then you got to break the piston before you break the redstone block or else it's just going to go back to where it was then last but definitely not least go ahead and find the hopper that does not have the redstone block in front of it and put 11 blocks into it this should start our clock now i'm sure you guys know that i'm no genius with redstone and there's definitely some parts here that can be improved or things i didn't understand or things I didn't explain very well. But at the end of the day, the point was to create this funky little moving dragon head and you can see it in action right here. <laughs> I've got one more build for you guys and oh boy. <laughs> you guys are going to like this one a whole lot. Oh man, I love this creepy effect, this void fog with the glass. <laughs> I've shown off this effect in a few of my builds and I know quite a few other YouTubers are doing this kind of thing as well, but in case you're not familiar with it, it's just a layer of glass every other row and then you create this really, really cool looking void effect if you stack a bunch of them on top of each other. I don't know, I've, I've done this design before as well with the red tentacles and this specific block palette, you know, with the red wool and the, the nether warp block and whatever in my uh, three ways to build a wizard tower video but <laughs> I just think it's so cool so creepy and definitely fits the Halloween vibe so I really hope you enjoyed this one perhaps giving y'all a little bit of inspiration for your builds or something like that hopefully or if not well that's okay with me because well you've watched through to the end of the video and I really really appreciate that you've done a whole lot to help out my channel help me get bigger on YouTube and for that you're awesome. <laughs> Appreciate that a lot, man. Until next time, my dudes, this has been Leon, and I will see you all in the next Minecraft 1.20 build hacks. I don't know what kind of video this is. Some Minecraft video. Check back next week for more Minecraft. <laughs> see you, man.